Welcome back to Silver Flyer. Revisiting one of my earlier topics was exporting or leaving China with precious metals, whether silver or gold. I've just returned to Canada from China, bringing uh, about 10 ounces of silver and uh, a little over three ounces of gold in various sizes. And it actually turned out to be a lot easier than I had expected. I had been given the answer and I've read in the laws that it's about 50 grams um, of both silver and gold that you're allowed to take out without declaring and without any special documents. Anything above that should be done through the People's Bank of China or the Central Bank of China, in other words, and you should get some uh, a document that gives you permission to leave with larger amounts. Um, as I was told at Customs twice by two different people, and one was a higher official, was uh, just don't take too much. That's fine, that, that's a good amount. Um, when trying to find out what was too much or what my limit would be, I keep getting the same answer, don't take too much. Um, you know, it's in, typical in China, I guess, people don't want to be nailed down to an answer or maybe it's just a law that they have on the books so they can enforce when they want to and at this time there's no need to. I'm not sure what the case is, but uh, I have a feeling I probably could have taken a little bit more. Uh, I stopped at the customs counter at the entrance on the main level of uh, departures in Beijing. There's a customs counter, you can go and ask questions there. And I asked, I brought the bags, I showed them the two bags here. And uh, I said, uh, I'm leaving with these today, is there anything special you would like me to do? Should I go through the uh, red line to declare or the green line, nothing to declare? And he said, go through the green line, just don't take too much. And again, I couldn't get a number out of them. So this is how I took it in two separate bags. And I put the extra boxes, empty boxes, um, into my checked luggage so that, you know, I condensed everything down. I guess it made it look like less as well. Um, and the only thing I was asked to do is during the security screening, uh, where you take out your phones and your computers and stuff like that, was to actually physically take the bags out themselves and have them scanned outside of my carry-on bag. So really it ended up being uh, no drama whatsoever. And uh, I mean, if you're taking small amounts out of China, nothing to be alarmed about. So for the future, I'm gonna to try to find out what the upper limits are. And what they've been suggested is once it gets to these larger numbers, whatever they might be, is that uh, you'd have to have some cooperation with the business you were buying it from, say over the counter store, the licensed uh, seller that uh, would make it possible for you to um, uh, take larger amounts, probably. So uh, we're looking at that for the future. I'll pull this out of the bags and show you what I've got. Take a quick break here to go over the laws with you, which I mentioned earlier. To be more specific, silver and gold are 50 grams is the limit. Grams being the unit of measure for precious metals in China. And I don't know about this two ounce thing here, as, as you can see, that does not match two ounces, but it's 50 grams. You can have 50 grams of both gold and silver at the same time without declaring it. However, in paragraph three, those carrying an amount of gold and silver beyond the limit are required before exit to submit a certificate issued by blah, 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 and apply for a permit for taking gold and silver out of the country, which shall be checked by customs. Such objects are not permitted to be take it, carried out without the permit. So these laws are definitely on the books. Um, I think it's their discretion whether or not they want to apply them or enforce them. And maybe at some point, if the country's in the mood to keep precious metals in the country, these will be applied. Uh, for now, uh, you are able to take out metals as long as you're forthcoming with them. Uh, I've been uh, assured that as long as you have claimed and declared what you're taking out, that uh, they're not there to take stuff away from you. and in the case that they wanted to limit what you were taking, they wouldn't um, confiscate it. They would actually hold it for you. For up to six weeks, they'd give you a receipt, an itemized receipt, which is an official document, which you could reclaim those with ID later on. Or you could send that original document to a friend with a letter of permission, allowing that person to pick it up for you. So I think it's pretty safe to take out your medals. Just be upfront with them. So now for the more gratuitous precious metals porn, I'm gonna show you what I brought back. 
Starting off up here, two commemorative coins, 10-year commemoratives. Uh, one's the 2010 Shanghai Mint and the 2011 Shanghai Gold Exchange. Here is the 2012 all the way through 2019. And I had a 2011 just given to me by Miss Silverflyer, my girlfriend, and I left it in my apartment in China. Uh, I'm looking eventually to get all 37 years right back to 1982. That's sort of my collector challenge for myself. Who knows? See how it goes. Uh, down here are two 30 gram gold uh, pandas, and then the 15 gram, two eights, a three gram, and two single grams. So all the sizes are represented here. However, this one being a 2016 uh, is the only odd one out. Picked it up recently at a fairly good price. And how I like to arrange these is, uh, as we know, the pandas are 30 grams, so they're 1.1 grams short, short of a toy ounce. So I add one gram to them, making them uh, 31 grams even. And then here you have 15 and 2 eighths, making 31 grams up also. So three troy ounces roughly, minus the point ones. And uh, if I ever get 10 uh, ounces over there, I'll pick up an extra gram and uh, make up for all those points. I do keep two uh, ounces back in China along with some silver and I'll keep be maintaining a stack on hand in China as well. Uh, moving ahead, I've got some really good videos coming up as I promised them to some friends on a Facebook page. Uh, this is a fake panda. It comes in a box with a certificate in the flex seal in the plastic case and that is a fake. Bought as a fake at about a little over $3 probably and advertised as such. But I'm really impressed at the detail. There are a lot of tells on here which could help you probably spot one of these if they ever came on the market. And I'll be comparing it in a, another video to the original. So uh, we'll go over everything on it that is um, you know, giving this one away. And uh, I look forward to doing that. Should be an interesting video. And what I'm really excited to go over in a, another separate video is this pile of boxes. While I've been away for three months, that has been building up. Those are my orders and looking at about 1,200 ounces of silver, three ounces of gold, and uh, some local, uh, local coin shop pickups that I'll add to that video. So keep an eye on the channel and there'll be some good stuff coming up. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.